imágenes. Hello, we are Tavon and David from TD Adventures. In today's video, we are taking you along with us to explore and share with you what we learned about the Devil's Tower National Monument in Wyoming. Big, big crowds on the way in today. Nobody. No, oh, have you said that now there's someone speeding up from behind and just appeared. Oh, no. So there's one other car. Oh, okay. Faster than us, or they would have been behind us at the same distance all the time, right? Mm -hmm. What is that in the distance? Look at that. Sticking up from the earth. Yeah, look at that. I think that's where we're heading. The only time we have ever heard or seen Devil's Tower was from the 1977 movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind by Steven Spielberg. We pulled over to the side of the road to take pictures and videos of Devil's Tower. Continuing on. Turning onto the road that will lead to Devil's Tower. Pretty fall color. Like it's open for biz. There's a couple of RVs in there. So look at, you stay here. You just look out your window. Mm -hmm. No one is at the booth because it is off season. On September 24th, 1906, President Theodore Roosevelt proclaimed the tower America's first national monument. Can you see Devil's Tower behind the trees? Driving past a controlled burn. Fire here. Let's smell it. Wait, you mean like it's kind of new? Well, don't you smell fire? I do. Well, down at the bottom it said warning, smoke ahead. Really? One of those temporary illuminated signs. Smoke over there. Yep, it's still smoldering. We're over there too. So we won't mm. go down that way. Well, I'm glad it's not over here. Driving past the bathroom, visitor center and store. Oh, look at that. We arrived early and we're able to find a pretty good parking spot. How did the tower form? The process began about 50 million years ago. Magma, molten rock, was injected into layers of sedimentary rock, forming the tower one and one half miles below the Earth's surface. It has since taken millions of years to erode away the surrounding sedimentary rock to expose the tower we see today. Geologists agree the tower is an igneous, hardened magma intrusion, but have three different interpretations of the tower's original size and shape. Because of erosion, we may never know which interpretation is correct. This is the map of the Devil's Tower Monument. There are two trails that go around the tower. The Tower Trail is a 1.6 mile loop. The Red Beds Trail is a 2.8 mile loop. We will be taking the Tower Trail, which is shorter. How tall is the tower? Measuring from the visitor center to the summit, the tower is 867 feet 264 meters tall. The summit at the top of the tower is about the size of a football field. In what when we Close can... encounters of the third kind. People that make it through everything are hiking up around to get to the back side of this. And so they're like in this area. 
it was probably a sound stage, but it looks like this area. Yeah. And then they scoot over to the other side, and that's where all the excitement happens. Mm hmm Yep. What makes the tower look green? The entire tower appears to be green because of lichen that grow all over the rock's surface. Lichen grow in places that are too harsh for most other organisms. The lichen on the tower are exposed to extreme heat and cold. They can become dormant in these tough conditions and grow very slowly. The lichen on the tower may be some of the oldest living things in the park. Devil's Tower is composed of symmetrical columns, which are the tallest, some more than 600 feet, and widest, 10 to 20 feet, in the world. This painting by European-American artist Herbert A. Collins 1865 to 1936, depicts one of the many traditional stories from indigenous cultures. These stories tell of a bear that scratched the lines into the tower, likely leading to the common indigenous name, Bear Lodge. This side, do not recognize. I don't shoot it from this side. No. Thousands of people climb the tower every year. The climb requires good physical fitness, skill, and technical climbing equipment. Climbers must register before and immediately after climbing. Going up a little bit. Oh wow, look at that. Check out the climbers. One is up there and the other one is down here. Scary. Spot climber. Look at that. Right there. Oh yeah. Okay, oh, it's kind of one. blue, right? Blue? Yeah, and then there's someone up there. Right there. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Wow, so cool. I was hoping I could run into that. Overlook. Willard Ripley and William Rogers were the first climbers on record to summit the Devil's Tower. On July 4, 1895, Linny Rogers became the first woman on record to climb Devil's Tower. She scaled the ladder built by her husband, William. Yeah, right here. Oh my goodness. After landing a parachute atop the tower, George Hopkins watched his 1,000 foot long descent rope fall out of reach. It was his only way down. Stuck and afraid to fall asleep on the summit, Hopkins paced in the gusty October wind while rescue plans hatched below. Goodyear blimp? 
Navy helicopter? Only a technical climber would do. Over 7,000 spectators gazed upward during the six-day ordeal in 1941 as climber Jack Durrance and his team brought Hopkins down to safety. The, the one on top's been waiting for the one on the bottom. Yeah. Hasn't moved yet. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you there? Are you here yet? Stop, can't go up, can't go down. It feels like it is going to rain. We are walking faster. We are looking up at a section that is called the window. Halfway. Yeah. Only halfway to go. The summit is home to plenty of native plants and small rodents. Even snakes made the journey. How do you think they did that? So how do you think the snake make it up there? I think the bird dropped it there. Pick it up. Oopsie, dropped it. Maybe. Same thing with the mice or mouse. Picked it up and then dropped it. That's my theory. And there it is. I have this bump. I think it's the direct water away from the trail. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Must have been a challenge for that guy in the wheelchair. Oh, yeah. To get over those. Yeah. Getting close to the end. Is that why we went earlier? Yeah. We seem to have made it back. We made it to the intersection. Yeah, so. We made it. Seems as though we did. Can you see people scrambling up the rocks? We completed the loop. Heading back to our RV. On the way out, we spent time checking out the prairie dogs. This was our first time ever seeing prairie dogs in person. They are so cute. The sign says, do not feed the prairie dogs. We learned that prairie dogs eat grass. Bye, devil towels. See you next time.